All right, hey there, Prox Gaming crew, and this is Prox Fight here, and we're back for some more of the Persona 4 Golden Let's Play. If you didn't miss out during the last one, well, we got to see the fireworks that was happening around within Inaba, and now we're going to have to continue onwards from the said story that is going to be still happening throughout this day here on the August 31st. We're almost about to be reaching all the way into our time of the September month, which that is going to be pretty exciting, and hopefully at some point we'll get to see whoever is going to be the next person that will be diving on into that said TV world, and then we'll have to go through another said dungeon at some point uh but within these two videos for today uh not only are we just gonna be doing out here with the course of persona 4 golden but we're also gonna have to do some more of the final fantasy 10 let's play and uh if you guys don't know we are on our way right now to be battling out with the ultima weapon i know that during our first attempt it didn't go as well as it should be we tried to do it in a regular type of battle format situation without having to go and do anything that was going to be way too easy for the said fight and uh, unfortunately during the time of the regular said battle we got ourselves completely destroyed uh later on throughout there uh but however in this particular part we are gonna have to go and do the easy method out here uh for the second attempt just so that for me personally is is that i would at least like to continue onwards throughout the adventure and uh, head on into the last main part of the story that's gonna be happening in Fallout fantasy 10 without me having to go and do a regular type of battle because uh mind you uh if you haven't really been using the sphere grid as much uh you may probably be running into some situations within the set Ultima weapon because that dude does have 99,999 HP but however uh, we'll put that aside for right now uh, we'll worry about that when we get into the Final Fantasy 10 episode but for right now we're here back in the Persona 4 Golden let's play here and uh, currently right now it looks like everybody has been gathered around to see whatever type of this giant watermelon is going on and uh, it looks like we're gonna have a little bit of a celebration uh, with all the stuff that has been going on out here so far and you know what for me personally is is that i was never really much of a big watermelon type of guy before like there is like some type of flavors of, of watermelon that, that i don't mind if it like comes from like a drink or maybe uh something else but i don't really like just eating a regular type of watermelon it's just like something really weird for me but uh anywho uh i know that currently right now uh today is going to be right now on the on the wednesday of this actual set recording and uh, i just went and got myself with the zelda echoes of wisdom it is finally here uh i will however be going and doing a uh a guide type of video that I'll be doing uh, within the whole entire game uh, so stay tuned for that and I will possibly be doing a review for that game later on too uh, after once I am said and done with the guides just so that I can kind of give my thoughts and opinions with everything that has been going on out here so far and I think that's what I'm going to possibly do I think for any other type of video game series that I well for what I do go and dive on into with just so that like if let's say for example if I wanted to like get back into like Mario Odyssey and play through Mario Odyssey and do like a guide of like all the different moons or something like that and then later on we finally get all the way all into our time of like a review or something like that i don't mind uh doing uh something around within there and uh if you guys don't know uh we're currently finished right now uh within the paper mario and the thousand year door right now uh which i am uh, pretty excited about uh currently we just had to go and just do the bonus episode which that is going to be the last said type of video that we're ever going to be doing on the uh paper mario uh well for the thousand year door that's gonna be happening from there uh we just got the special award from it which that was also really good as well and uh now we just only have just two series left which uh you guys will be seeing and as well uh persona 4 golden will be a continuous series so you will be seeing that for quite a while uh so hopefully uh you guys will still be enjoying throughout the uh well for the last type of solo series that will be going on uh for the channel at the time being because again we still got like quite a bit of other months so we are gonna have to kind of spend some time around within this game a little bit longer here and it looks like uh, this Nayato guy has finally went and showed up here to the school. So, seems like uh, after his little PI detective stuff, it seems like he's all the way back here and returning to school, which he is now uh, signed up here so that he can be a, become a part of uh, being a student throughout this high school here. Which, uh, that's pretty interesting. That's like kind of like what happened before with Rize, right? Because like Rize was uh, was like a model and then all of a sudden she decided to come back into Inaba and then uh, sign up here with the school. And now she's actually a part of being a student within our way too. 
All right, so here we go. This is going to be another one of these type of questionnaire quizzes that is going to happen. Now, mind you, unfortunately for me, is that I actually did miss out on this said question. I thought that, uh, well, normally I didn't really need a guide. I thought that I would be able to go and say that it was like a deer, but unfortunately, that's not what venison is. I thought when I went and watched Hell's Kitchen, I thought that's what they were known as venison, was something of like deer or something like that, but... Unfortunately, it's more so of wild boar and other type of other meats that happen around within there. So, unfortunately, we got that one wrong. But, hey, you know what? That's only one question wrong. We can still always go and boost the barrel knowledge later on anyways. Man, school's as dull as like, we already did all the different knowledge and understanding from all of our boosting from the homework that was happening from before, right? So, we already kind of know about that. So it looks like uh, everybody is uh, all hanging around out here within the school, and it seems like for right now, we're going to have to go and uh, meet up with that Nayato guy again and try to make sure that he will be uh, hanging out with us uh, for the time being. And that should be happening pretty much soon. He's just an ordinary guy now. And if you think about it, that makes him a transfer yep. student. Because that's what happened to us as well. Because, like, at the very beginning of the game, you know, we got transferred right over here to Inaba, and that's how we were able to meet up with Dojima and Nanako, of course. All right, let's see if he wants to hang out with us. Yeah, that is pretty cool. But just within this, well, just with what's going on within this high school, you have a model and a detective both in this place. There's that and the fact that he's a detective at his age. So let's see what Nayato's up to. Oh man, look at that. He's already talking to the females already, huh? This man's one sly guy, I guess. Well, probably not. It seems like these girls just want to kind of, kind of try to show him around the place, it looks like. But unfortunately, uh, Nayato doesn't really kind of want to go ahead and do all that type of stuff there. You know, like, unfortunately for me, I kind of feel a little bit like Nayato in a way, is because, like, um, for me personally, is is that, like, uh, it, it's always a little bit hard for me whenever I try to uh, uh, always, like, try to, like, uh, talk to someone that, that's, like, uh, new that I don't ever know from before, so it's always a little bit uh, of a challenge, you know? But, anyways, uh, off they go. <laughs> But hey, at least uh, Nayato knows about who we are, because he's already been showing up here for quite a bit often in most situations. Hey, Naoto-kun, if you're not doing anything after school, want to come with us? Yeah, come on, hang out with us, Nayato. Perhaps another time. What? Mull over? He must probably be still kind of on the uh, on the way of his uh, detective work, cause like he may possibly be able to know something that uh, that may probably that we don't even know. Maybe this could actually finally be that time where I am gonna be making my assumption that Nayato could probably be heading into that TV world. But again, we've already been told that that the case has already been solved, so. Again, we don't really know too much about what else is going to be happening here. I do need to go and see if uh, at any point in time when the next uh, expiration date's going to happen. Because I'm a little bit scared. Because like, we're already here in, uh, in September already. And like August just went by like so fast within this game. So I don't know exactly when that expiration date's going to be showing up here. If you guys don't know, uh, basically at like the very tail end of like August, normally the game kind of picks up like really fast because like you're going to be like in certain situations where you're going to have to do like a lot of like random social linking for a little bit. And then you're also going to have to like do uh, some part time work and helping with Nanako for the time being. And then by the time that you're all done with that part time work and helping with Nanako, you're already here in September already. <laughs> Oh, so it's another one of these tripping experience. So I wonder who was in charge of all of this, huh? So I know that uh, from what uh, from what we have been gathered out here so far is that uh, when I went and played through out here in this set episode, it seems like uh, King Moron, the one that went and passed away here in this game, actually did one other thing before he went and uh, it, it did for this type of camping trip here. Or not camping trip, but some sort of trip that's going to happen with some of these private private school students and us with the regular students that are here as well. 
some factories on the second day, and huh. then we're coming back on the third day. That's no different from a social studies field trip. Uh, I didn't want to know that. Can't expect much from a school sponsored trip. You know, I have to say, when I've been on some school trips, they have been pretty fun. You know, like, I've been to, like, some pretty cool places, uh, like, when I went and, and did some school trips. I know that we went to, like, a roller coaster amusement park, which that was really fun. I think, what was that? Like, Canada's Wonderland, I think? It was, like, somewhere around there. It was really cool. Eh. I enjoyed, like, that amusement park. It was really fun. Like, for me, like, I'm always, like, a roller coaster junkie, so, like, to go over there to that place was great. Um, but there's other, like, different other roller coaster amusement parks that hopefully one day I would love to go to. Like, I've always wanted to go to, like, Bush Gardens, or I always wanted to go to, like, um, uh, like, Hershey Park or something. Like, uh, those would be pretty fun to go to. I know that, um, I, I know that Sierra Point has, like, some new rides now, which, uh, that would be really cool to go and check out at some point later on down the road. And, uh, I don't know if you guys have went and, uh, seen anything from From, uh, but From Season 3 is out now, uh, which I'm really excited about, uh, for that one. Uh, I believe there's actually two episodes so far that are out at this point in time, and I haven't really went and checked them out yet because, uh, I got my sister hooked up on, uh, on the, uh, TV show of From, so we're starting all the way back from Season 1, so unfortunately I can't really go and, uh, watch those two episodes for right now and kind of give off my thoughts and everything for it, but hopefully that's all point i will because uh i would not mind uh, checking that out, out on that later on here all right i think we're almost done and i think this is going to be a perfect enough time for us to go and end off the episode for today so thank you so much for watching out here for persona 4 see you guys in the next one and of course peace